Hello everyone, and welcome you to today's message from Cooking with the Word. We're out here in the uh, great wilderness of Muncie Mountain. Uh, we decided to come out today and, and you know hear the birds sing. Just listen to that. God's wonders is just is just amazing. The birds are worshiping God right now, and, and they're just, just having such a good time. We had a lot of rain and thunder and lightning last night, but they don't care. They're just excited. Uh, the, the grass is growing. The, the leaves are coming out on the trees, and everything is just absolutely beautiful according to the will of God. But if you look at man's situation right now, especially the country that we live in, and a lot of other countries too, uh, it would remove any hope you have in this life. I've watched a few things on social media here lately on YouTube and a couple of things about the, uh, the things that's going on in the world and it will absolutely shock you. I, I seen one episode where this, this man just decided he wanted to become a woman. So he'd become a trans uh, into a woman, but then that wasn't good enough because then he decided he wanted to become a wolf and then he he become the world's first trans wolf. You know, the, the world is all messed up. And, and, and they, they get all excited about that, the, the things that are going on in this life. But you know what? We should only have our eyes upon Jesus. We should only be looking at him, not at the world. The world will get you all messed up. It'll get you confused. It'll cloud your mind. It'll, it'll get muddy water in your head is what it'll do. It'll have your vision all confused. And you'll look around and, and say, where is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Where is this God? Why, why is the world so turned upside down? Why is gas prices gone completely out of the world? Why, why are they doing everything they can do to destroy what God has made? But if we had hope in this life only, then we'd be miserable, right? If we had hope in only what we could see here today, we'd be miserable, be absolutely terrible. But you know who's happy? The people who, you know, there's an old saying that ignorance is bliss, right? Uh, you, you're, uh, ignorant people that don't know about something are usually happier, right? Well, I don't want to know about the world. I want to be happy because I only know about Jesus Christ. And I know that he is coming back soon. He's coming back to get us soon. I know they preached years ago that God's coming back. But guess what? He's still coming back. They preached thousands, 2,000 years ago that Jesus is coming back. But guess what? Here today in 2022, Jesus is still returning. He's still coming back. It doesn't matter what theologians say. It doesn't matter what scientists say. The Word of God says He will return. The same Jesus that you see go away, shall return in like manner. Guess how he went away? He went, he went away as a man who could eat, as a man who could drink, as a man who could walk with them, as a man that who could talk with them. But he went away and he said, in the same manner, the same Jesus that you saw go away, shall return again. I'm glorious, gloriously waiting for his return. Aren't you? Aren't you happy to know that? Let me read this to you just a little bit. Colossians chapter 1. If you got your Bible, look this up. Hopefully you, you set your DVR so you can watch this slowly and back up and watch it again. If not, catch it on YouTube. It's going to be out there. It says, Paul, Colossians chapter 1 verse 1, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God. Paul wasn't an apostle of his own self. See, there, there's a meaning in every single word of this Bible if you'll just slow down and listen to it. Paul was impossible, an apostle, an apostle by the will of God. Not of himself, but by the will of God. And Timotheus, our brother, to the saints and faithful brethren of Christ, in Christ, which are at Colossus, grace be unto you and peace from God the Father and of the Lord Jesus Christ. The key word there was faithful. The brethren who are faithful. You know, the ones who are still believing that he's going to return and still know that he is going to return are the ones that will say, stay faithful. Where is the promise of his return? Well, they've been saying it all the way down to, from the beginning of the time until now. Guess what? He's still returning. Let's go on just a little farther. We give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you, 
since we heard of your faith in Jesus Christ. Wow. He's praying because he heard of their faith in Jesus Christ and of the love which you have to all the saints for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven thereof you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. Hope. Where's your hope should be? Right here. I was trying to think today just how old this Bible right here is. It's got to be at least 30 years old. And, and, and the different words that I've read and meaning, the way that God spoke to me through this Bible. And guess what? I believe it all. I believe every word of it. And you should too. You should believe everything that God has got to say to you. His word is true. And his word is everlasting. And one day his word was made flesh, walked among us, dwelled among us, and his name was Jesus. The word of God amongst men and guess what he's coming back soon we look around this world man and we get all confused we got people stay, stand up and saying america is no longer a christian nation it ain't up to america to be christian it's up to you to be christian it's up to you it ain't what the mass uh, believes it's not what the growing, going fad is, but it's up to you what you believe. So what do you believe today? The Bible asked a question one time. It says, why do the heathen rage? And why do the people imagine vain things? The world is going completely mad. But guess what? That should not concern you. You might say, well, the world hates me. And it hates what I stand for. Guess what? It hated Jesus too. He hated Jesus and what he stood for. How much greater is the servant than the master? So we're just following after him. So if we're following after him, expect him to hate you. Be okay with that. But keep your eyes upon Jesus. If you're looking only toward him, if you're looking only to what he has for you, only listening to his words, nothing else whatsoever, believing upon Jesus Christ with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, have hope not in this world, but have hope in that life. Jesus said in, in John chapter 14, verse 1, Let not your heart be troubled. This is troubling times. This is trying times. But it's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. I guarantee you it's going to be all right because God's word said it's going to be okay. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Is your heart troubled? Are you all messed up because what you see on the news, what you read on Facebook, man, you know what? You better not believe all that junk you read on Facebook. You better not believe all that stuff you see on CNN and MSNBC and even Fox. You better not believe all that stuff. You better believe in the Word and, the, and upon the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, let not your heart be troubled. He said, if you believe in God, he said, believe also in me. In other words, if you believe in the Creator, believe also in His Word. Believe in, if you believe that there is a God, believe also what his word is spoken, is what Jesus said. Jesus being the word of God, he says, if you believe that there is a God, believe that his word is true. He said, in my Father's house is many mansions. Well, I've only got hope in this world. I got hope that I looked and the price of milk is doubling. The price of eggs is doubling. Uh, I heard there's going to be a famine coming. I heard that you're not going to be able to get food, that, that there's no flour to make bread and to, to make cereal and all this kind of things. I heard it, 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 let not your heart be troubled. Put your hope in Jesus. Put your hope in him. All my hope is in Jesus. All my hope is in him. Let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, he said, if you believe in God, he said, believe also in me. For my, in my Father's house is many mansions. He said, if it had not been so, I would have told you. And he said, if there had been no hope, if I come down and evaluated this world and there would be no chance for you, I would have let you know, stop trying. But he said, have hope. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. If you believe upon him, he said, in my Father's house, is many mansions. He said, I go away to prepare a place for you. And the way I go, you know, and where I go, you know. And if I go away, I'll come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. May God bless you all. Tune in next week. We love you all in Jesus' name. Till next week.